Okay, I'm going to be playing Destiny of an Emperor. Um, it's one of my favorite games. Uh, growing up, I have a lot of good memories of it as a kid. And I just, um, I remember renting it the first time. And I just had a lot of fun with it. Um, the whole time I was playing it, I would... I remember I played it so much that I could see it like in my sleep. <laughs> I could see the characters when I closed my eyes. Um, it's based on the Three Kingdoms era and uh, Three Kingdoms era of Chinese history, and it's one of the first games to do that. I think Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Uh, I think there was a game. There's a game series, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, which also did that. That one might have came first, but I'm sure it didn't precede this one by mu by very uh, by very long. Um, and that was more of a strategy game, where this is just typical RPG. Um, you start off this town, you, you know, it, I guess this is your hometown, it's just a small town, you get some money from the merchant, and you get a couple guys to join you, and that's all there is to do here, um, this first segment, I'm just getting, gonna get started, here's the, here's the real city in the area, Get all your equipment. Me, Zay, I guess you pronounce it. He is your first tactician you can recruit. So you go to formation, strat, and select him. It's kind of a weird gimmick this game has. Um, you set one member of your party as tactician, and you s that person is gives you a list of spells to choose from. You can call them spells or whatever, special abilities. Um, but it's basically your magic in the game. But there's instead of supernatural magic, it's just different strategies you use. Um, this first part, I didn't realize that it already had flails, so I went and bought two more by accident, but it's okay because I just give them to the Song Brothers, but it does take me a while to switch everything around and equip it. Since it is an early game, it's very clumsy with equipping it. Equipment. It also has a dragon warrior dragon quest item system where each person in your party has a certain amount of spaces for items and your equipment stays on that person that equipped it so that any equipment you have takes up room. And that is one of the most annoying systems for, for items. But in the early days, that's all you had pretty much. Uh, Final Fantasy that you hold on limited items, but each character could only, you could only have like four or so slots per character for their equipment. Or you could have, um, I forget exactly, I haven't played the original Final Fantasy in a long time. I've played the remakes on it for the iOS and such, but...
So off the extra dagger here. I don't remember who was carrying it. Whole thirty seven coins. to go into the castle. Um, I don't need to go there for now. It's where you buy food. Interesting thing, um, you take damage for every step you take if you're out of food. And this is where you can record your game, save your game, and you can also invite the Emperor If the city has a castle. This one has a castle, but you don't have to invite anybody at this point. That's for later on. So. Uh, giving the rope to him because this one has. This one also is close to Final Fantasy in that. The order you have your characters is the order that the enemy hits you, so the first person in your lineup takes the most hits and decreases as your as the party goes on between um, each person underneath your leader takes incrementally less damage. And basically in the beginning, if you've ever played uh, Dynasty Warriors games, a lot of them sold off with the Yellow Turban Rebellion. And I've also read the books, Romans of the Three Kingdoms, and that's this game follows the novel pretty well, but it. Uh, cut off for now and join me in part two.